Subscribe to this YouTube channel and please enjoy watching this video, here we go. Coach Bozy Ennis was pleased as Cuban hotshot Andy Cruz banked 10 rounds in just his third professional fight, winning every session against Mexican Brian Zamoripa. Cruz went to three fights, no losses, one knockout, at the Caribe Royale in Orlando, Florida, and afterwards said the fight had been like a sparring session. I thought he did a great job tonight, said the Philadelphia trainer and father of welterweight star Jaron Ennis. He, Cruz, had a guy that was supposed to be putting pressure on him, but he was mostly running and tying you up. If he had stood there and fought, he would have stopped him. Asked by IFL TV whether he was satisfied with Cruz's trajectory in the professional so far, Ennis added, Oh yeah, you see he picked up a lot of defense, he didn't hardly get hit out of the whole ten rounds. Talks have circulated around the possibility of Cruz renewing his amateur rivalry with Keyshawn Davis. Cruz has said it's over to Davis if they want to box as pros, and Ennis would be happy to see them meet in a rerun of the Tokyo Olympic final, which Cruz won. Ennis has faith in Matchroom, and is confident they will make the right moves for the Cuban. Whatever they, Matchroom, say, I'm just the trainer, said Ennis, asked about the possibility of meeting Davis. I don't control that, but I think he's ready for him, Davis, right now. I think by this time next year, he, Cruz, would have already achieved something, by winning a title or something. He's on the right track now. Asked to call out lightweight targets, Ennis replied, whoever has got the titles, but we've still got to work our way up to the titles. Boots has been enduring contractual issues and has been called to fight Cody Crowley by the IBF, but Ennis said he had not spoken with Matchroom through the week about his son, because he was in Florida on cruise business. Promoter Eddie Hearn has made no secret of his admiration for Ennis of late, but Bozy was not interested in talking about that. It's not Boots time, it's Andy time, he said. He did, however, reveal that Boots had been paired with Mario Barrios on March 30th, until Barrios withdrew and was then asked about his son being mentioned as a possible opponent for Englishman Connor Ben. No, for what, said Ennis. Connor Ben doesn't have nothing that we want. We want to clean the 147 division out, clean the titles up and then we move to 154. The current welterweight king is Terence Crawford, but he has said fighting boots is unlikely, although Bozy thinks his son will be able to pick up the belts when Crawford vacates. I don't think that's going to happen, Anna said of Boots Crawford. He, Crawford, already said that, Crawford is going to get a big fight and move on, he said Boots is the new guy at 147. Meanwhile, former Olympic champion Andy Cruz couldn't get a knockout in his third professional outing, but he left opponent Brian Zamoripa bloodied, bruised, and beaten at the end of 10 lightweight rounds at Caribe Royale in Orlando, Florida on Saturday night. Cruz, who defeated Keyshawn Davis in the final to take gold at the Tokyo Games in 2021, was not just bigger, stronger, and faster than Zamoripa, 14 fights, 3 losses, 5 knockouts. He also showed better and more varied punch selection throughout, never giving the Mexican an opportunity to get into the contest. He also showed footwork far superior to that of the typical 3-fight pro, testament to his 149-bout amateur experience which included three world championships. It is too early to say if Cruz, three fights, no losses, one knockout, will add a professional world championship to his resume, and his inability to put away the games Amaripa showed that there are, understandably, still wrinkles he can add to his game, but his application and natural talent were evident throughout. After a first round in which he took the measure of his man behind a snapping jab, Cruz showed the first hint of his potential in the second when a sneaky half-step to the right gave him room to launch a punishing lead right hand that had the Mexican hanging on for dear life. The Cuban-born Cruz, who has been training in Philadelphia alongside Jaron Boots Ennis, spent the first half of the bout patiently softening up Zamoripa, but stepped up the pressure in round six and seven, sitting on his punches and driving Zamoripa backward with powerful blows from either hand. With blood cascassing from his nose and both eyes marked up, Zamaripa looked on the verge of folding, but he remained in the contest and sought to return fire as best he could in the eighth round. The difficulties he faced in making a dent on Cruz were exemplified by the final power punch numbers. Cruz landed more of those punches, 
142, then Zamoripa threw, 133, and his connect percentage of 46 was more than twice that of Zamoripa's 20%. Still, he was able to hold on until the end, although all three judges justly saw it as a 100 to 90 whitewash for the Cuban, whose future appears bright. Let us know about this whole thing in the comments section below. Additionally, stay tuned and subscribe to this YouTube channel for the latest news and updates from all around the world. We sign out.